What's going on everybody? It is Thursday today. I'm competing at APU Provincials this Sunday coming up. So we're in here today. Uh, I'm gonna do some sort of last warm up ish maybe a little bit heavier, um, just to kind of get some moderate stimulus in, get in, get moving, and try to maintain the old peak for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. sit down for this one because uh, this person's saying, hey Bryce, I noticed you equipped squat training on Instagram. Some of your squats seem to be very borderline on depth. Is this just how all equipped squats are or do you have to make adjustments closer competition date? It's a bit of both. I think a lot of the times that is absolutely equipped training, right? Um, I think that's the reason that if you look at uh, an overwhelming number of equipped lifters, um, specifically once you get into like competition tightness of equipment, it becomes that window, and I've talked about this in regards to the bench shirt before, but that window of like what you can get to a competition standard versus what you can stand back up, right? The tighter the equipment, the more that window shrinks because you need more weight to distort the suit to get to depth. But, you know, it, it again becomes heavier, and like I said, that window shrinks. So, yeah, I totally understand and realize that uh, equipped depth is a, it's a, a fickle mistress. It's not like a super consistent, always to depth, always um, like undeniable kind of thing. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's ris risky and shoddy. And honestly, I don't want to go much deeper than just borderline because then I'm going to lose position. So it's a it's a constant struggle, and it's not uh, it's not easy. And yeah, I'll probably get depth calls at some point. I'll do my best not to, but it's a, it's a part of the game. two weeks ago, but someone yeah. asked, what do you do if you're stuck in a negative mindset about training? Oh, that's a tough one. Basically just keep training. Like, <laughs> trust that it'll turn around, because it will. Um, and like, I think adjusting your expectations, maybe adjusting your training program, adding in more things that you enjoy doing, um, lowering intensities a lot of the time will help you just feel more competent and confident with what you're doing. Um, but more than anything, just like understand that being weak or being injured or being shitty is temporary, just like being really strong. So the ups and downs are part of the sport. And uh, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't get to not have those, unfortunately. <laughs> apparel coming out when it's ready when it's damn well good and ready that's fine soon i hope we got some preliminary designs we got some samples i think we know what we're gonna print on which is exciting and uh we're really stoked we're doing things differently it's gonna be good we'll let you know preliminary designs preliminary what designs. does that mean don't worry about it it's industry talk Thank you. 
Someone asked if uh, you think like training at your home gym, like really simple, uh -huh. was detrimental or good for you? Uh, I don't think it was really either. I think it was, uh, it was pretty novel for the first block. So I think being so simple with things helped a bit. But I think at the same time, it wasn't really like a big, it's not that much different from how I normally train. Like I don't usually train using a bunch of machines and stuff like that. I basically just did pause squats, which I would normally do, bench variations, which I would normally do. And uh, yeah, it wasn't anything crazy. Like wasn't really that different from what I would do here. I did kind of find it harder sometimes to make the sessions though. Like when I was having a bad, that bit of a block there. It was like, I missed more sessions walking down three flights of stairs than I did driving half an hour either way. So I probably missed more sessions in that like little stint at home than I did in the last like two years of training. Just because motivation was like an issue. Motivation, whatever. I just like didn't do it. How has your deadlifts been going this month? How have my deadlifts been going? Um, <clears throat> probably the worst out of all three lifts this block. Uh, I think if I had one more block, I think I could put it together. Um, number one, using straps the whole block down because I wasn't doing any singles. Um, I think has impacted my grip negatively. I've had a couple of close calls with like opener weights in terms of my hook grip. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know, probably open a little bit light. Probably not shooting for anything very big on the deadlift. Um, but I mean, as we speak, it's coming around. So like I said, I think if I had one more block to put more together, it'd be a better performance. But uh, like I was telling Dylan just before this, I think I'm more excited to just like get back to training after this meet than I am to actually compete, um, which is good. That's kind of what I was hoping to get out of this meet. So yeah, the deadlift is, uh, it's been finicky since I gained weight. I think it's been the thing that I've had to kind of like relearn over and over, like every few kilos, it's, I feel like it changes a bit. So we'll see how it comes on meat day, but I don't think it's gonna be anything huge.